Well, that little message on the screen tells me I'm live. So good evening, everybody, from a very cold West Sussex. Uh, when I came into the workshop a little while ago, it was showing 1.1 on the thermometer outside, which is a tad on the uh, wintry side. So hopefully most of you are a little bit warmer. It's dry, which is a bonus. So we've now further ado let me scare you all by <laughs> bringing andy in just to prove that the uh, he is still awake facebook is very tonight yeah yeah i've not uh, appeared yet there i am i've just appeared now okay so, anyway it's working yeah. so, <laughs> good evening good evening to you all and welcome to a live let me dump andy in the background Let's move some of this and show you what we're going to attempt if the cameras want to, to work as they didn't a little while ago but yes very slow one four by three and a half fence post it's got a hole right the way through a bolt hole of sorts it's very rough on two faces two part faces and two faces where which was the outside all i've done is wire brushed it literally with the grain with a metal um, wire brush just to scrub out some of the the tut that was in there and get rid of some of the dust here looks like there's a few worm holes so they might end up seasick but the intention is to make this the bottom so correspondingly this is the top the intention is to put a candle cup in there just to be perfectly legit so to do that one needs a hole so i have a modified speed bit that speed bit is ground to the angle of the candle cup so i've taken off the side wings so what i should do is take this out of or off of the vise so now you can see i've got a four four prong drive gripped in the c jaws of the chuck i've got at the moment a live center which i'm going to take out and i'm going to replace it with a light pull drive so all will become abundantly clear when i put this back on so i'm going to hand drill with <coughs> trusted ryobi a hole to the depth of where are we which camera are we on we're on that one to the depth there so it will end up with a hole in the middle which i'm not worried about so just jam this and i think it's going to be on the floor All right. you want to take over andy for a second yeah yeah i'll tell you who's in okay um right so going through the chat tommy's workshop first one in gerard the french turner um Lawrence Vigasia, Peter Corcoran, oh, I don't know said him, Brian Watkins, that's very noisy, Malcolm Douglas, Trevor P, Hobby Turner, uh, Lenny Ken, hello Lynn. James Crawford, Right, I'm back. Douglas Head Donald. fell off. All right. <laughs> As it does when you lean As forward. It does tend to, yes. Uh, I think I'm nearly. Oh, John Scarborough, Tony Smith. So many names in here more than once. Woodworm Paul. Wood Wizardry by Colin, I think I may have said. I'm not sure. But I've said it again anyway. Um, 
Come to dum dum, flipping down through it. If I've missed anybody, I apologize. Door 60. It's just jumped and I've lost it now. Yes, it's still there. Well, according to my list, you should have 26 names, but that's. Uh, yeah, 26, yeah. There. Yeah. I think. No. I th oh, and Andrew Vivi Woodshed. And right. I think I think that's the end of it. If I've missed you, I apologise. Let me know, and I'll give you a shout. So, hi to you all, and thank you all. So, with the light pull drive, I'm going to tension it between the two points. So, working back to what we always used to do before we had revolving centres, a little bit of wax on the end. And that will now drive in the hole which the point of the flat bit made. So let's get that up on there. I can get a bit closer with this. Find the blindly find the centre, which is there it is, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's there. Lock her up so it might squeal a bit, but yeah, uh, but we never used to have revolving centers at all, did we? So, no, no, most pigs do squeal. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that's seated on the four edges and lightly spin it up. Oh, Barry Chitty, I don't think I mentioned him, he's in now. It's not squealing, that's for, that's good. And Brent Beecroft. So if I swing over to the other camera. And oh, Roy's the boy you, is in. Give you that view. You should be able to see me. Hollow out, where's my glasses? They fell off as well, that's better. <laughs> I know, you lean forward, done it on yeah. the floor. So. Alex, Alex of Wooden Things is in. Right, so. Sorry, I'll keep telling you because they're, they're still turning no, up. No, that's so. fine, that's fine. I'm just that's going 48 to now. ease this a fraction. Oh, it's a... It's a pull cut just round the very end, and that's, that's Katie, all it needs to be. Katie, the Cornish maid, is in. Hi, Katie. We're going for a bigger, heavier spindle gouge to attack the top, which I want to carefully Rob CP is in Hello Rob A little bit more volume help going to put a, a slightly domed top on this. Stand by your beds, Ben Jamin is in. Okay, here we've got the Copper L wood turning, sorry, people are still turning up. So Yeah, that's fine. They can turn up as slow as they yep. like. Yeah. A nice finish on that with straight off the tool. So mm -hmm. now I can remove everything. Trash everything and put it all on the floor. But that's normal. Take out my light pull drive. Put in a revolting center. Because now I can use the hole complete rather than the edge of it. 
which we did just then. So, we'll center up. Spin that until it finds its, that's just there. So now <coughs> I go back to the overhead camera, which I think is that one. Can't wake up. <laughs> it will do. Yep, it does eventually. And Now put some definitions, some shapes into it. I want to keep the bottom square or rectangular just to make it look like it is part or was part of a fence post. So so without further ado, Vibrating a bit, so let's move everything off the, the lathe. I think somewhere about there. Ben's only comment so far is that the oak looks about as old as you. It's probably not quite as. I should take that as a compliment then. <laughs> it's weathered well. Oh, and uh, Gerard has got a message for you saying, Keith, thanks again for your comment on the picture I sent you. Very instructive for the future. Thank you. So for those that don't know what Gerard and I are on about, um, Gerard did a, a bowl the other day. I think it was pretty sure it was a bowl. And I literally gave him my my thoughts on it, how he could improve it, what he could do. Um, which he come back and said, yes, he agrees with me. All right, I swapped over to the baby spindle roughing gouge to get the corners off now. So if anyone else in the chat has got an, an issue or they want criticism, critique, um, I'm quite happy to do it offline. I won't embarrass anyone by doing it on a live. It's the same as I wouldn't want to be embarrassed in front of others. Yes, the inch and a quarter gouge, I think. Yes, yeah. Spindle, spindle roughing gouge. Yeah, Katie. ground at 45 degrees so that it it cuts. And this is actually cutting quite well. So I actually, want to get a little bit more off of there so that it's round on three sides. But you can see the worm through there now. Yeah. And that, that hole goes all the way through. I don't know what it was. Well, it was a bolt hole. But uh, that's about all I do know of it. So, swapping between tools. Want to keep a fairly clean corner on there. <laughs> ben was asking Gerard, was the first criticism, why is it not made of you? <laughs> I think we've got ourselves a bit of a reputation here. <laughs> well, I'll let Gerard answer that one if he wants to. He has. He said, Ben, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Katie says, oh, my God, don't show Chris. I can't get him one in time for Christmas. Referring to your spindle roughing, girl. 
They take a right. bit of getting used to, Katie. I've I've got one, and and I managed it this morning on my live. I managed to use it quite nicely, but it's the first time I really felt comfortable with it. So uh, it's quite I've got a, a bit of a beast, bit of a metal. And I've changed the angle slightly on the the, the grind. Um, done doing it the same as my other gouges, basically, and it's worked. Made it much easier. So I haven't got a, a fixed design that I'm going for. I'm doing what we tend to do on the fly. So I think, to me, this says it needs a bead down the bottom. So I'm going to roll a, roll a bit of a bead on there. So I'm only cutting three of the four sides because it's that far out of true. But I'm quite happy with that. There I are those that would main, maintain that that's half a captive ring. Mm. <laughs> and that's as far as you go. <laughs> it's three quarters of a captive ring. <laughs> okay. Mm. And James Crawford says he retired on Friday after 51 years working as a joiner. I hope you enjoy your retirement as much as I do, James. Well done, James. Yeah. Welcome to the club. <laughs> and Gerard immediately leapt in. Hi, James. I wish I was with you. <laughs> 51 weeks, is it, Gerard, or 52? It's got to be around there somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. I know he's got it to the exact minute. Douglas hasn't quite got the hang of it. He said, congratulations, James. Time to get your feet up. That's not how it works. I've been busier since I've been retired than I was before. Trevor P is right. Enjoy your retirement, James. You will wonder how you had time for work. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, Peter Corcoran says he's loving it. James will too. Can you see the chisel? Yeah, just about. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can see it well, very clearly. So I'm virtually closed there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the angle, which is 45 degrees, is the angle that I can tuck down into there. And the bottom wing there was just touching that squint so it did slightly scrape it but i can just about get just, down there just get in there yeah. yeah yeah so that gives me oh gerard is only 61 weeks 60, 61 is it yeah six, six, no, it can't be 647 days Ten thousand two hundred forty-eight hours it can't be 647 days because that's more that's more than two years no, just under two years, which is not 61 weeks. So, need to do your sums again, Gerard. Otherwise, you'll be retiring before you should retire. <laughs> or after. <laughs> yeah. Four hundred and sixty-seven days. That's better. I just wasn't. Uh, I wasn't 
I was hoping you'd feel better about it if it was if you had a smaller number. Chris Glanville's in. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Working or uh, at home tonight, Chris? Stuart Inglee is in. Stephen Miller is in. Who was that, Stephen? Stephen Mellor, M E W O R. That's the name that we've been, been seeing a lot more of recently. Uh, you're all welcome. Thank and you're you up very to 40, much. 41 people watching now. And it looks as though Adam's in. He said he was going to be. I spoke to him this mm -hmm. afternoon. I seem to have missed him coming in. I think he did a live this afternoon. No, no, I spoke to him about the um, zooming in on. All oh, right. Um, yeah, because he did say he was going to try and do a live. He was tidying his workshop. Yeah, then he said he'd, he'd try and do a live afterwards, I thought. I don't think he did manage that. He was. He, he sent me some photographs of when he was tidying or reorganising his workshop. Reorganising um, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's done quite a bit of work in there. So, hello, Adam, anyway. Welcome. <laughs> Mouthful of dust, not good. Yeah. Is the, the chat obviously jumped at that point? I missed him coming in at all. He's only halfway through tidying, he says. Was it that bad then? <laughs> he, he, he had a lathe that was sitting in the middle of his workshop because he didn't have anywhere else to put it. I think that was the, that was the driving force, I think. I'm using this spindle roughing gouge basically as a skew. I'm using the side wing as a single sided skew. Now that right there is where that bolt hole is. So let's see yeah. what sort of. Uh, 43 wood is people left in, there. by the way. Oh, that's all right. Hmm. So we've got a flat on that side. We're totally round this side, but we've got and the half a half a bolt hole there. Half a bolt hole, which I think we'll we'll lose in a minute. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's a bit rain in that. There is, isn't there? But not too yeah. far to go before you lose that, is it? So no, no. I think I think that will quite easily disappear in a second. Yeah, Adam says he could have done a live of me tidying, but that would have been weird. Laugh out loud. Hmm. Nice form, he says. <laughs> Katie has said to Chris, don't look at the gouge, Chris. I can't get it for you in time for Christmas. Square that up, take a little bit more off of that shoulder. And Brent says he likes the bolt hole as a feature. Well, there won't be a lot of it, Brent. No. When I finally get down there, it's very nearly gone now. Yes, Brian, it is it is oak. It's an old oak fence post. Mm. Mm. 
So we're we're actually spinning at about uh, 550 for those that uh, like to know the intricacies of what we do. I think if we stop it, that is more or less. It's a shame that that little bit's there where it's not more. I don't think I dare take too much out of that. To it's going to it's going to weaken it too much. Take a quarter of an inch of that off. It's yeah, it's because it's both sides, isn't it? So yeah, it's an eighth of an inch down. So mm. Do you know what? It's going to happen. It's not. Yeah, go, be on, there. go go for it. Go for it. Yeah, Market uh, Wood Revolution is in. Hello, Mark. That's a name that I can't say I've seen on no, mine. No. But you're more than welcome, Mark. Absolutely. Is Mark with a C? I don't suppose he had any uh, any hand in choosing how it was spelt. Probably not, no. No, we don't tend to have, do we? Yeah, I think I'm pleased with that. If I can just get this down a little bit. Or radius at the top. Yeah, Mark says blame the parents. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's all you can do. Frequently do. Yeah. Pete yeah, twisted trees is in. Hello, Pete. Hello, Pete. I'm happier with that now. Yeah, it's going to look tidier. There wasn't enough of it to make a feature of it, almost. No, no. no it was always a compromise before. Whereas the lump that's missing there is not a compromise because it would be too thin otherwise. Yeah. So I've just got to clean up this bottom of this mm -hmm. top feature. Uh, Lock down tight. Uh, see what the skew's like. Uh, it's not that bad. It's cleaned it up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So do exactly the same. With this so I'm using the long point literally the point so pick up the bevel and see when it starts to cut just lift the handle into it I think after only 28 minutes I've got shape that I'm looking for mm, that's nice a couple of little flats just there so you have to turn the matching one now <laughs> you, you, you need matching wood though don't you yeah that's true yeah it does help oh Scott's in blue light turner all right hi dad and all he says are you working or uh skiving in the bus I was going to give you a ring somewhere just to find out how things are because we haven't spoken for a, a week. Do you know, I'm I'm happy with that. I just need he's to go a, he's a, off now till Christmas Day. Okay, uh, I might give you a buzz later on then, mate, and we'll have a. A quick uh, put the world together five minutes. Uh. 
Right. I think, hopefully, that was all that needed. It was. It's got rid of the flat in there. Mm -hmm. so. Now, let's see if we can sand it. Should be ent entertaining. Yeah. With the lump missing. Don't want 400. I think uh, we can safely go to got three bits of 400. One, two, three, four bits of 80. Uh, have to go down into the vault and get a piece out then. <laughs> It's one of my most used uh, grits. One twenty. One twenty, yeah. It's yeah, one twenty, two forty. Mm -hmm. uh, it's surprising how much you can get through without realising that you've got through it. Yeah. Let's turn the big sucker on. I don't want too much of that up my hooter. No. If any. It turns black in contact with any any bodily fluids, doesn't it? It's not very pleasant. Well, perhaps that's why I'm digging out black bits then. <laughs> it's certainly under your fingernails. It always goes black as anything. Oh yeah. Now I can't put too much weight on this paper because of the section that's missing. Normally, yes. I would turn the speed down. Lost that. Yeah, but it's on the floor, so it's okay. Normally, I would turn the speed down and uh, sand at a slower speed, but with the lump missing, I don't really want mm. to. So yeah. that's that's why you hold it within two fingers. So if it does get caught, it just flicks it straight out of your fingers, as you witness there. So there's still a flat at the top there. And the only bit that's round is this bit down the, or at the top here. Hmm. <coughs> Can drop the speed a bit back a bit now. That's a bit too much. Say so burning your fingers. Well, no, it, uh, it gives the abrasive chance to cut. Yeah. Rather yeah. than. Uh, oh yes, it does. I mean, yeah, I normally turn it down, but you can't if you've got a bit missing, as you say. No. It jumps well, over you the can, top. But uh, it's well, not it, the easiest. You lose all your edges, don't you? Yeah. So I'm just going to literally take the very corner of that off don't want to lose that edge of that squint Let's stop and have a look. Well, that's got rid of all the tool marks. Quite happy with that. We go on to it's 240, 400, 400, 400. Yeah, it's looking nice though. 240 with no cutting on it. So, okay. 80, 80, 80. Right. 240 to, bin. Yeah, don't have to make yourself a toast rack. Doesn't take long to cut a bit. 
because I've got them all in individual bins. All right, yeah. So it's just a matter of uh, finding the right bin. Now this is going to end up oiled, lemon mm -hmm. oil. Oh, so it will be, yeah. Because of the unsanded bit, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Makes, makes so sense, yeah. I will be taking it up to 400. But that won't take a lot of doing. It was bone dry. That's 240. Now, the copious bits are 400. That oh, goes as well, <laughs> but that's fine. I am done with it anyway. Almost. It's just a little bit of a an edge just there where it bounces. Oh, right, yeah. Mm. So sand it with the grain. Doesn't take many seconds. I don't think you can see it, but I could just see it. <laughs> no, it uh, looks right uh, from yeah, here. Yeah. All right, so before I take it out, and while I've still got the sucker going, just uh, give that a quick tender wire brush. No secret, it's just a standard wire brush. But it gets in that open grain a treat. So it's quite nice because it takes out the softer bits, doesn't it? Yeah. It gives you a, a texture. Mind you, I did go over it before I did anything when it was in a, a straight line. Yeah. And that got rid of most of it all. So, right, I've got my smock done right up and I've still got a bit down my neck. <laughs> oh. It gets everywhere. Yeah, it can do. Right. And there it is. Yeah. Ta da Just a little bit of work in there, but I can do that. 38 after minutes. After I've oiled it, yeah. What are we using? We're using which one are we on? That one. We're using lemon yep. oil. I'm just going to get rid of some tools because there's a sharp pointy bit there which yes. tends to <laughs> jump at your elbow if you're not elbow careful. Elbow stab at yep. Oh, <laughs> I've done it too many times to yes. yeah. get rid of it. Yes, I always have no. permanent scratches on my elbows, oh, that my right elbow. Not so much now. So let's bring up the grain. Yeah. Copious amount on there because it'll soak in. And it smells nice. Mm -hmm. It does. The whole workshop smells of it, doesn't it? When yep. you've used it. Let's go around to this side so that you can see the difference between. Yep. There's the rough bit against the turned piece you can 
think it, it's when you put the lemon oil on, it brings out the colours that you've got and you can see the difference between what you've just done and what's underneath. Yeah. Brush is a bit big for me tin, that's the problem. Ah. Or it's got a, such a small hole in it and it's getting to the bottom as well. Yeah, I have a stainless steel bowl I tend to pour my stuff into because, because it's too much of a fiddle otherwise. Not so bad with lemon oil because it doesn't mind, I don't mind getting that on my hands, but it's when you're doing some of the other stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just the lemon oil that uh, and then it shows up the shake through it as well. Yeah, that's nice. Nice uh, dark line. So if we mm -hmm. put some on the the outside of the fence post, this will just drink it. I could virtually yeah. tip it on there. Yeah. But whether I've got enough to tip it on tonight is another thing. I don't think I've got enough with me to do that. I didn't realise it was as low in the pot as it is. Oh. I do happen to have another one indoors. It hasn't got this far yet. That looks really nice. We've got one cut face because it was all well and truly on the piss. So I did run it through the bandsaw just to give mm -hmm. me a chance of... Yeah, a reasonable size blank, yeah. Yeah. So. Not just enough to do it. Yeah, there's more than enough in there. It's, it's deceptive. Mm. Yeah. It goes quite a long way, doesn't it, this stuff? It soaks in on the mm. um, rough bits, but it doesn't soak in quite so much on the on the turn pieces. The turn bits, no. Mm. Yeah, but I will give this another flood either tomorrow or within the next couple of days. Yes, that melon, I'll put about five coats of that melamine on that thing I did this morning. All right, yeah. Looks yeah. really nice now, really nice shine come up. Which is good. Um, <clears throat> I don't know whether you can see it. Just wipe my fingers. Wipe the fingers, bring the mouse over, wake it up, change cameras. Lawrence is asking how many coats will you give it? Probably only two. But I, I will flood it on. Mm -hmm. So, there. Well, that's the... a very, very different colour under that light. Yes. <laughs> With that camera. Yeah, that's this it. is more natural, this one. Looks, looks, and looks I've a lot got darker. The, yeah. yeah, I've got all the um, LEDs around it as well. So, it uh, mm. does bring it out. It is actually quite dark on this face. And yeah. that, uh, no, even where you turned it, there. looks looks darker yeah. here yeah, than it I did think it's when it was on the lathe. Pretty good for mm. colour, that is. Is it? Yeah. So, okay. Um, well, we all know we get a colour cast off of the cameras. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it looks, looks more looks more aged now, even where right. you just turned it. It's, so, it's a darker colour, which is quite nice. That is tonight's. That's well, it. three quarter of an hour quick project. Yeah. Uh, getting rid of it off my fingers. Good job uh, we're not charging. They'd be saying we're doing, taking a mic. <laughs> sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. You just don't yeah. know how long it's no. going to take. No. If everything goes all right, it's fine, but it doesn't always. No. No, you only wanted to find a lump of metal in there. I didn't think I would because I couldn't see any stain. You usually, usually see a purple or black stain if uh, there's a nail or anything in there. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yep, oh, they're all discussing the jabs. All right, yeah. Pete's just had yeah. a fourth one, a second booster. Right. I didn't realise they were doing those yet. 
Anyway, but looks really good, Keith. Brent says. Yeah, I'm just reading the comments oh, as there. they you're pop there. up. Yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah, Gerard's right. No vaccine, no go out. That's my yeah. opinion of it all, really, because mm -hmm. they've yeah. got no. They're only sat, only in, interested in themselves. They're not interested in the rest of the I community, don't, friends, really, family, and everybody. Don't understand the people who are refusing to have it. I, I really don't. But then that's no. just me. I'm. Well, I, we just, would... just just talk about polio and smallpox. I mean, that's all you need to say, really. Yeah. Well, we were talking over the weekend, weren't we, on Sunday, about it uh, down mm. in the workshop. You know, if you want to go to um, some of these countries that you've got to have. Uh, malaria um god what was one of the other popular ones that they you have to have if you're going to places like that um they'll just put their arm out go on stab me yeah for mm, something mm. like this that's going to uh, inflict on everybody oh no i'm not having that i don't know what's in it yeah as if you know what's in anything you eat or, or take mm. but uh yeah Pete Twisted Trees says he likes a slight offset, leaving a splash of post on the body. I quite agree, Pete. Looks really well, nice. It's a bit different. You can see more or less what it is. I, I did think about doing it totally central so that uh, it was polished all the way around. But then I thought, no, exactly what you just said. So you can see that it's part of a post. Yeah. Yeah, yellow fevers, one, hepatitis. Yeah, hepatitis, yep. Yeah, yeah there's loads of them. Mm. <laughs> you can tell Gerard is a chef. Same yeah. basket as those vegan and <laughs> conspiracy stupid people. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not going to comment on that. No. no. <laughs> I think we all know what the answers are anyway, but... Uh... <laughs> yes, Lynn, I agree with you. No, no, no jab... Oh, where is it? There's it gone. No jab, no NHS, or at least charge them for it. Yes. Yeah. I think we said that on Sunday as well, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, I think we give it a fair old licking. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I think many have the same view. Yep. Many. I think it's 90% of the uh, population have the same view. But yeah, there's only about five, yeah, five percent are, are prepared to stand up and, and speak their mind. But it is, uh, it is regional to some extent. Mm. We're we're much better off down here than almost anywhere else in the country. We're very lucky, according to Alison. She looked at all the figures. Oh, yeah. hello! I better wake yeah. up. And look. Wake up, up, yeah. Up, looks like you're like taking an interest. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his long distance readers on so you can see the screen from afar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's uh, that's it, basically, guys. But uh, same as I, I said, lunchtime. Without you guys watching, um, I would be talking to myself or Andy. So thank you all for coming in. Thank yeah, you all absolutely. for supporting me and Andy on our little YouTube channels, and they are only little against some of you. I mean, there's 45 still watching me tonight, which is almost good. a record. Yeah, mm. um, I don't worry about numbers. All I'm interested in is showing you guys something possibly new to you, possibly a different way of doing it. Um, I'm not professional by any ma manner or means. I've been turning a good time. I've watched a good few many turners. I've had a couple of lessons with turners, professional turners. So um, that's my history. Um, but I'm quite happy to share the knowledge, share my time. And if anyone like Gerard had the other day um, an obscure piece that he's doing and just wanted criticism um, or critique, I'm quite happy to do that off air. Um, I don't see the point in you putting something up, putting a picture of something up and it being slated or whatever. Um, I don't Publicly. slate things mm, anyway. No, yeah. No. Um, I gave him a few suggestions and he's come away. Thank you very much. 
you know, if Gerard wants to tell you what it was, um, that's fine with me. But, uh, you know, I'm not. I can remember what it was now. But it was uh, mo modelled on something that I demoed earlier on. It's do Stuart, I do flat think, yeah. work as well? No, no. My flat work is quite round. I try and avoid flat work now. I, I, I used to, but I try and avoid it. I haven't got the workshop <laughs> space to no. do flat stuff. It takes up too much room. I don't moan about your stuff, mate. I just pass the criticism <laughs> to you. <laughs> tell you it's would, rubbish. <laughs> wouldn't moan, would you? Wouldn't moan, just tell him it's rubbish. No. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, cons considering you've only been turning, what, four, maybe five years, Scott, you don't do too bad out of no, it. No, you're doing, doing all right. What is flat work? Flat work is carpentry. Stuff that's not, not round. Yeah. Tables, chairs, and um, general yeah. carpentry like that. Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't got a big enough workshop for that. Cupboards. Yeah, it does take up a lot of space. It's it's uh, it's quite fun to do, but it's not. It's hard work actually. I prefer. Well, you've turning. got to put your put your back into it, whereas you mm, can just stand mm. here and uh, turn. Yep. It was a plate with oyster setting and set in resin. Oh, that's what I saw a picture of earlier. On, Did you? All oh, right. On, okay. On, on face on Facebook, I think it was. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, and with with giving credit to you actually as well, inspired by Keith, I it said, or cir that. circular Keith or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, six years in January. Yeah, <laughs> Lynn says you there. have a big enough garage, Dad. <laughs> it's cold in there, and it, it you can't keep it warm. And Stuart, Stuart, oh dear, this could get complicated. But Stuart says, "How have I only just realised that Keith is Scott's dad?" <laughs> <laughs> It's quite simple. He's not. He's not. Absolutely. <laughs> no, yeah. I've just, uh, I've just fa fathered him in the turning department, and uh, it's just a, a house joke that I get called dad and I call him son. So <laughs> yeah. And so that really. I'm very well at the moment, Douglas, and uh, it's not you because. Uh, I thought you were all getting fed up with me turning you. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. both moved away from you on our last couple of turnings. So, yeah, deforestation uh, and the like. Nice to have a change now. And yeah, again. I do. I love turning you though. It's still Don't my favourite. Don't be favorite, sorry, Stuart. It? Yeah, it's a standing joke. Most people in the chat realise what it's all about. But uh, now I took two of them hmm. under my wing when they first started turning, or they couldn't. They thought they could turn. Um, they joined club, West Sussex Wood Turners, and I knew Scott anyway, and I knew his mate vaguely. And uh, Scott just uh, said to me, oh, I'm not getting this. So I said, OK, um, I'll pop round. So we made a made an appointment to pop round, and they were both there. I said, well, it's no good me showing you. You show me what you're not getting the hang of. And the, the lathe Scott was using was across the workshop, his little workshop at the time. It was an old, ooh, whatever it was, but it was old, um, four-speed drive, quite small. But uh, he was doing a cord pull at the time. So I could see what he was doing. I literally went up to the front of the lathe, reached across it, said to him, relax your grip on your chisel, twisted the chisel, pushed it down, and uh, said, and he said, oh, bloody hell, I'm getting shavings. Yeah, it was a Clark's piece of crap. He's about right on that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yes, they were not great loads. No, no, but uh, he didn't know any different, and the chisels he'd got were Chinese imports, which were a bit of mild steel with a, an angle grind on them. So from that day on, we've been quite good mates. And uh, if he got, if he's got an issue, he usually shouts at me. Um, what am I doing wrong? How would you do it? Can you tell me what to do on this? And it all works well. Uh, that's the history of me yeah. being called dad. Mm -hmm. Ben is getting a bit confused. He said, is Andy Gerard's dad? Definitely not. I think Gerard's older than I am. Um, 
but but just to confuse things more, of course, Lenique Lenique is, is actually your daughter. So <laughs> <laughs> yep. just yeah. just to make it worse, you know. <laughs> we're we're one big family. <laughs> I like to see it as one big family. Oh, Adam says, let's see it then. He, he took longer than he thought. There you are, Adam. Something a bit so different. We've got uh, a fully turned piece on that face and on that face and that face. Through offsetting it a margin, I've still got the outside just breaking through. So shakes and everything on it and the top just needs candle cup fitting uh, it's 10 inches tall god knows where i got the wood from but it stands nice and level i should just give that another coat of oil tomorrow then screw in the candle cup which has got a hole in the bottom so you can get a yeah yeah you can just about see it there right, so yeah, you, you can get, get a screw, screw through, through it and... So that it doesn't fall out. So, yeah. So that's so, it, guys. That's, so, it. that's nearly the hour. Yeah. So just, just time to wish everybody best season, season's greetings. Season's really. greetings, and uh, don't get too pissed over Christmas and buy other buy things you wish you'd uh, you hadn't next yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, do have a good Christmas, everybody. And uh, hello, Dale. Long time no oh, speak. Right, yeah. <laughs> Evening, yeah. girl. You just come in at yeah. the end. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so if you asking, there it is. It was a four by three and a half fence post in oak. And we've left slightly offset so that it shows one side a little bit gnarled and original with and there's a couple of fairly big shakes up through there and sort of a, a thistly sort of top and right way for the camera just going to put the candle cup in and screw that in another day and give it another coat a couple of coats or a coat of uh, lemon oil What did Scott just put up on there? Hope to see uh, you. Thursday, for... Thursday Christmas giveaway. Okay, yes, he did say he was doing a giveaway on Thursday. Have you got a link for it yet, Scott? Chris Glenville says, Merry Christmas, Keith and Andy. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, uh, Chris. Thank, thanks, Chris. Yeah, there. And the Corcoran. Lots of people wishing happy Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got your link, Scott? Are you still there? Bloody Mark. Chat went wild then, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. Gerald's done it in French. Joël yeah. Noël. A bon année. Colin's, to, done, to Colin's done it in Welsh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that means the back, uh, the back end of a sheep, doesn't it? Ah, there's got... Scott's uh, Scott's link for Thursday. Oh yes, yep, yep. Uh, oh, showing off now. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I there's should... some there's some new up there on the shelf. That's nice and I should dry. <laughs> try and get in on Thursday if I can, Scott. I've got a busy week now, but I will try. But if not, have a good Christmas. Bar humbug from Colin. Yeah. I should be getting my hat out ready. The one that says bar humbug on it. Gerard said he could do it in Irish. <laughs> Irish he asked the yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So, without further ado, guys, I'm going to yep. head on into the warmth because it's not very really warm outside tonight. No, I'm quite cosy in here. One point yeah. six when I come in here, um, and mm. dropping very quick. So, 
I'm going to turn off my little bit of fire well, yeah. and uh, put things away um, and say thank you very much. Happy Christmas, Merry New Year. And if you get drunk, keep off the roads. But bye bye from me. And bye bye, bye, bye from, from him. Keep, keep your eye on YouTube. We will be advertising what we're doing after Christmas, after New yeah, Year. Yeah, there might be a pop up from me between Christmas and the New Year, but uh, those that are subscribed will, will see it, should get the notification. But uh, I'm not promising it. It's, if it's too bloody cold, I'm stopping indoors. I ain't coming down to workshop. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I'm off, guys. Andy's off. Well, we yep. do that. But uh, here, goes the, years, yeah. here goes the broadcast. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everybody. Yeah.